Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Nova Frugal Studio, and today I'm bringing you guys a video that's seven tips to speed up your workflow in OpenTunes. So let's get started. Before we start the tutorial, if you need help or have a question about this tutorial or OpenTunes in general, follow the link below in the description to my Discord server. You can ask questions there. I can give you screen captures of my own software so I can help you more personally than on YouTube because I can't really provide those here. I also make a ton of tutorials just like this one. So if you're new and you want to learn how you can make 2D animations for free with OpenTunes and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of it. The first tip is if you don't like the idea of a vertical timeline or you just don't like how the, how the X sheet looks, you can hover over, I'm gonna pause this, to the timeline room that they added in OpenTunes 1.3. I'm pretty sure everyone should have this and this will give you a vertical timeline. If you prefer that coming from a, you know, a different software like Flash or Toon Boom, this is how you get a tr more traditional animation software timeline. If you want OpenTunes to auto create a frame or a column when you draw in a certain space, just like I did there then what you have to do is go to file preferences and then we're going to go down to drawing and under next to auto creation hit use x sheet as animation sheet and that'll speed up your workflow a lot because instead of having to make a new frame every time which i don't really know how to do you just gotta draw and that creates a new frame automatically tip number three go to windows and hit command bar and this will assist you in your X, all your X sheet purposes. If you wanna create a new column, a new vector column, a new tunes raster column, or a raster column, you can just click these buttons. You can hit one, twos, and threes. I'll give you an example. If I take this animation right here, and then I hit threes, then it spaces it out um, by threes, which is nice. And then you can see the animation's a lot slower. That's pretty helpful. Um, I don't really use that often, but it's definitely something you should do if it's not already there. When selecting a vector line or a line in filled space, you can actually select it and then click down here to change its color. So as you can see, I changed the lines here to this little lines option Then I can change this to whatever I want to squiggly um, knows if I want to. And if I want to change it back, I just select it and go back to my original line color like this. There you go. If you create a vector layer and then you put text on that layer, so I'm going to put my notes down for a second. You can make that text pi, um, and you hit enter, or actually no, you just click the text tool. It's a lot easier to manipulate than if you were to do it with a raster tool, because you can scale it up and it won't lose any quality. So um, this is my text. I can go to the vector options. I can make it the line style any way I want. Let's do that colorful one. And then I can fill it in any way I want to as well. Um, I'm going to fill it in with red. It's raster, go to vector the field tool I can fill it in and then my fill can also have all the effects that come with using vector layers yeah so it's a lot easier to manipulate than if you were to make text on a raster simply because you can change the size and everything you'll, you'll never have to worry about losing quality or wanting to change what your text looks like because you can do it all within with the vector tools unless you want to change the font you'll have to go back and create something new but that's not too much of a problem if you want to speed up your workflow definitely take advantage of the customizable um, shortcuts that come in with OpenTunes, you can change basically everything that is has ever been key bound in the software. So um, it goes deep into menu controls, cells, ones, twos, and threes, as you see up here. Um, there's a ton of things that don't have shortcuts on them. So definitely take time to customize them to your liking, what you think will be easy, and also dedicate some time to practicing with your shortcuts. I know how I had to, to practice with my shortcuts and after a while, it, they became a lot easier to use. So definitely don't be shy and go right in there and customize the shortcuts to your liking. Lastly, something that really sped up my workflow is realizing that the colors are actually numbered. So I would be switching, I'd press B to get to my brush. I'd be drawing, if I wanna switch colors, I can just press one and I'll go to this negative sort of color and then I undo those. It's a lot faster than moving the mouse down and selecting your colors. You can just press one and two and then three, four, five, however many colors you actually have. So that actually sped up my workflow a lot. As a bonus little tip, you can go to file, preferences, drawing, and I set my width and height for all of my levels um, as 5,000 by 5,000. My computer can actually handle it um, now that it's, uh, I have my new computer, but my old laptop cannot handle that. Um, I'd recommend if you have a laptop setting it to somewhere around 2000 to 2000 or 3000 and 3000 so you don't you can always be able to draw outside of the camera 
because vector levels you don't have to worry about this because there is no boundaries but on raster levels there is boundaries that um will prevent you from drawing in the full space. So that's pretty much it for the tips that can speed up your workflow. If you guys like this video, definitely leave a like and a comment so I can know what you guys are enjoying on this channel and I, how I can help you improve your OpenTunes experience. This software is completely free, so I definitely encourage you guys to check it out. And if you're having problems, definitely leave a comment, definitely join my Discord channel so I can see what you guys are struggling with and I can help you. Thanks again, this was a lot of fun to do and I'll see you guys next time, peace.